Right, so we're going to have a baby, are we? <laughs> yeah, this one really choked me up in the studio. It's the, probably the one that when you were actually tracking it, I've really felt something instantly. Uh, maybe because obviously it's such a common topic, but don't think you hear, I can't think of many songs, if any, that put it in like this blunt you know, so these blunt terms as this. Yeah, um, it's it's just that that vulnerability of becoming becoming a father, I guess, and the sense that you know you can do everything you can, but you know you can't protect them from everything. Like as they as you know they're going to grow up and they're going to make mistakes and and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, do, it was, do you remember the specific time you felt that? Yeah, I I think it, it's it's strange because you get kind of thrown into a, like such a whirlwind when you have a kid and, and it's all, you know, great, isn't it? You know, it's nice. And, you know, you, you, you get to do like the, the, ah oh, bits. And there was this one evening when, um, I was just looking after my son and we were in the living room and he was just playing with his cars. And after I put him to bed, I was like, it's just so innocent. And, you know, you're not going to be able to protect them from the world but all you can do is just try your best in that yeah, sense. Yeah. And it, it was it was an emotional one to write, but it was another one of those songs that it doesn't really have a chorus. It has like a repeated theme through it to just, I'm going to try and do my best. And I guess it's uh, another kind of poem song of mine. But I think the the bridge to the outro was, you know, that was like very personal and very meant it and i think it was just one take in the studio as well yeah it was i'm hoping like it touches people as much as i felt in the studio like i've got a baby on the way so <laughs> i probably feel that same yeah. thing at some point i don't know when that's going to come mm. and i'm going to think of this song now mm. you know yeah that's pretty special yeah uh, it's, it's really good to hear you know it is it's yeah it's funny like no one really talks about that kind of stuff and as you said, it doesn't really get like, let alone put into a song because if anyone sings a song about like kids, usually it's just like really like happy and oh, yeah. the rest. But this was a bit like, right, gonna have to try and make this work now. We're gonna need more money and we're gonna have to sort it out. And it was kind of cool though, because like I said before, this to me, this felt like my first album. And to me, this song was a bit of a nod to Jail Cell Bouquet Off, uh, Life and Other and also Happy Together because it's kind of got that worryness to it yeah. and it's also written out like a poem but at the end like jail so it's actually really quite a positive song because yeah, it's yeah. a song about love really yeah yeah um with some darker themes thrown in because that's how i write songs you know <laughs> well it may i think it makes it more real it's like it's it's strength through worry it's rather than a yeah. straightforward love song you're you're giving the song as uh, a situation or something that two people have to come together to get through. And that is ultimately challenges and relationships. That's what you have to do. Yeah. So, you know, I, th I think that's, yeah, I think that's really great that you're able to do that. It was cool that there was, um, you know, I, I, it kind of wasn't on purpose because we thought of the, the car effect in Cops and Robbers afterwards. But obviously it's got that line in like, watch you play on your cars, well, watch you play with your cars on the floor. And then we've got like the car in Cops and Robbers. So, you know, as, as we're talking through the album, it's great to kind of realise how well everything fits together. And I did really go into this wanting to make an album like a piece of art rather than just eight songs that I like to put together in a yeah. certain order. There's a big difference between yeah, yeah, there is. You know, those you make, two things. It makes you, you make different decisions along the way to make them co cohesive. Um, sl they're slightly different. Obviously you're trying to do what's best for the song, but you, you've got the others around it in mind. Just to mention the structure of this, like you, obviously it's kind of more of a hook and a tagline this song but i think the structure is amazing because i especially when you do get the kind of back-to-back -back chorus mm. chorusy hook um and it just crescendos and it just gets until it drops right back down i, I think that's the actual bit that got me because mm. 
up to that point, it kind of just keeps you at bay. Yeah. And then it like... It's like the reality check yeah, kicks in. Yeah, it like yeah. doubly hits you yeah. at that point. Um, another thing we haven't really spoke about yet is uh, I think probably in this song, it's most... It does the most for the song is the piano. Yeah, yeah. And um, this is something which this came, was new for us this was new for us to record us playing piano on a <laughs> proper piano yeah yeah it's a long day <laughs> it was a long two days actually it was a two days yeah um <laughs> oh god but to be fair uh, to you this song um you did pretty much again in like one or two takes and so, we did go in without anything written. yeah yeah so it was i mean we always wanted to get that like kind of bit of a busted up not quite in tune piano yeah and then once we found one i i really enjoyed the fact we went in with nothing so it's like we're just going to literally just sit and listen to the record with headphones on and just see what what feels right and you know also, very by the, simple by the way at this point the record was pretty much mixed so this was like we thought we might add piano mm. and then we got there and we ended up putting piano on every song. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it became more and that, of a thing. And that became like a thing, yeah, uh, like a, a, another part. Which is why we needed the second day, because initially yes. we thought we were just going to put it in a couple of songs. That's right, yeah. Um, and it is very subtle. And this one you can is more audible because, you know... Well, it's got those higher keys yeah, as well, which... And it kind of adds to the innocence and the childlike exactly, yeah, feel. Yeah, it almost sounds almost like a kids piano yeah, yeah you know yeah. which um which came out amazing like really really love it 